So what are we doing now? Now we are transferring the wet, clean laundry into the dryer. Oh, okay. We're doing a smooth transition and trying not to drop too many socks. Okay. Do you drop a lot of socks? Yes. So Where do they all go? I don't know. I always feel like I lose like one or two socks. So you're starting another load of laundry. I am, but you don't have to watch it. It's no, it's okay. You've loaded your other stuff in the dryer and you're starting a new one. Yes. Do you always do laundry on the same day? Yes. What day is it today? Sunday. Today's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, but you always do it on Sunday. Yes. Because I've been waiting for you. Because you've been waiting for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is a new... I had a pile of dirty laundry and I was waiting for you to do it. Is you... Okay, so you're setting your... I'm setting it to 60 minutes. And I'm doing medium heat. Okay. With wrinkle shield on. That's another thing that's like the eco boost. It's just always on. Like why wouldn't I want why would I want wrinkles? Wrinkle shield is always on for me. Do you think wrinkle shield takes more energy? Or No. Do you think it, it I changes know I do what it does. The effectiveness of the Probably not, to tell you the truth. The wrinkle shield's always on, eco boost is always on. Ego boost on, wrinkle shield on, two things that I have no idea what they do, but I always make a point of making sure it's that way. And you've never experimented with them? Never. To see, you know, wrinkle shield No. Off. Never, Are never, they more wrinkly? Never have I ever. Do you notice wrinkles? Yes. In clothing, in general? When you oh. take them out of the dryer. I mean, yeah, if I wait too long, it's wrinkly. Okay. Do you... But wrinkle shield does not protect that from happening. I don't think so, no. Okay. So you did uh, wrinkle shield temperature medium. Is it always medium? Uh, usually, yeah. Because I don't want to singe it by doing high heat. Singe it? What would you singe? I don't know. I feel like if it's just hot for too long, then like, they would just the fabric. They usually do medium heat. Okay. And the end of cycle signal is off. Yeah, because it's so annoying and it keeps going off until you open it up. Okay. And you uh, you did timed drive. Yes. For what, an hour? Yes. Do you ever do anything different? No. It's always timed drive for an hour. Uh, if it's less clothing, I'll do 40 minutes. But I do time. I don't do sensor. Um, can, you, can you talk about why you choose that? Is it... Um, I don't know, I feel like it's more reliable than the sensor. The, okay, the sen you don't think the sensor is reliable? No. I haven't really tried it ever. I've always just done time because that's okay. the way the washing machine was when I grew up. You just do it. Yeah, the sensor seems. I don't know. I don't trust it. You just don't trust it. Okay. Well, um, okay, so can I ask you one more question? Sure. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people have opinions about how their uh, washing machines operate, but mm -hmm. then they don't experiment with the other settings. Yeah. Have you ever conducted any kinds of experimentation? No, I would agree with what you were saying. I don't experiment with it that much. So you just take what I it is. take the way I've been doing it, and I always do it that way because it works. Why mess with a good thing? If there were fewer settings and it just worked, would you be happy with your washing machine? Probably equally happy. I don't know. I don't use the other settings. I don't feel like I need them. Like the time to dry, I don't need. EcoBoost, what is it? I don't need it. It's a bunch of doodads. I like simpler things. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome.